Hello everyone, you all are welcome to Believer's Love World Message Studio and if this is your first time coming across this channel and you don't want to miss messages like this that we're posting on this channel then kindly do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video and if you like what we're doing on this channel or that you want to support us in any way or you want to buy us a coffee then kindly use the thanks button below we we'll gladly appreciate it so on this message today, a man of God during the quiz or academy is going to be telling us what will happen during the rapture and great tribulation so i urge you all to watch this video to the end and if you have anything at all to tell us about this video then do not forget to leave a comment on the comment section and do not forget to share this message as well for you to help us to share the gospel of christ all around the world and it will also help this channel to grow thank you and keep watching on the uh, subject of eschatology dealing with the end times and it's quite a broad subject and of course i'm aware that there are those who say that the rapture will take place uh before the tribulation and some say now by the way when we say tribulation we're dealing with the great tribulation because there are different phases of tribulations throughout the church age but then the Bible refers to the one that it calls the Great Tribulation. And uh, there are those who say the rapture will take place before the tribulation. Some say during the tribulation. And some say at the end of the tribulation. But uh, what we have to understand is that the, the period between the rapture of the church and the second coming of Christ has to be Daniel's week that is between the uh, the 69th week and the 70th week now it is important that we understand that the church age has to come to a close before the return of God's calendar to the uh, Israelite nation. Very, very important. Because he doesn't deal with both of them at the same time. He deals with the church and then he returns to dealing with Israel. So evidently, what happens is the rapture of the church takes place before the Great Tribulation. But really, the Great Tribulation doesn't begin until the second half of the seven-year period, which the Bible refers to. So, the rapture evidently will take place at the beginning of the seven-year period. Because that's the time that the Antichrist is revealed. And at that period, God's timetable shifts over to dealing with the nation of Israel. So, the church would have been taken away. Well, when we say the church, um, it's important to understand that there are others that will join the church. Now, throughout that period of the seven years, there are other raptures that will take place. For example, the rapture of the two witnesses will take place. Then later on, you got the 144,000 that are all Jews. And the Bible talks about them. See, so these are different ones, but for the church as it is today, the rapture will take place at the beginning of the seven year period. It's got to be so, because when you study in the book of Daniel, read Daniel chapter nine, you get some of these facts. And uh, understanding that God deals with time, even though he lives in eternity. 
He deals with human beings who are within the framework of time. And so he gives us uh, such information that if you read the book of Hosea, read the book of Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah, and Daniel, of course, and then the book of Revelation, all of this information is there. And in reality, when you study them, you cannot have, uh, you wouldn't find contradictions and you'll not be in any doubt as to when it takes place. Now, the other question here is, will the mark of the beast be implanted on believers? No. Those who believe in Jesus Christ, knowing the purpose of the mark, will reject it. They will say no. Now remember, the church by this time has already gone. I mean the church as it is today, because I, I did say there are others who will believe in Jesus Christ during the tribulation period. Okay? So, because they believe, at the ending part of that, they're going to be part of the church, So, the, because they believe in Jesus Christ. But they will go through the, the tribulation. They will not receive the mark and because they will not receive the mark they will be persecuted because the instruction the law in that time will be that no one will buy or sell except he has that mark and how are you gonna make it see the laws of different countries will be imposed on you you've got to accept if you don't accept then you cannot buy you cannot sell you'll be prosecuted Persecuted and prosecuted. So that's that's a real problem. Um, but in spite of that, the Bible does tell us that a great multitude went through the great tribulation. So those of us who don't want to wait for the tribulation, um, we're working hard right now in preaching the gospel to the nations of the earth so that we can win a whole lot of people to Christ. Hallelujah. First time coming across this channel and you don't want to miss messages like this or posting on this channel and uh, kindly do hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video and if you like what we're doing on this channel that you want to support us in any way or you want to buy us a coffee and kindly use the thanks button below we we'll gladly appreciate it so thanks for watching this video once more again and please do not forget to share this message for it to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world and it will also help this channel to grow. Thank you all and stay tuned till we see you next time. We love you and God bless you.